The next stage is to um, glue the sides on. I've already done one side, which is a little bit problematic because I used these clamps that I bought from Amazon. And I wouldn't say they're useless. I'd say they're completely useless. You tighten them up and they just slide up here because the, this ratchet area is so smooth it doesn't bite. Anyway, I did my best and I'm going to glue the other side on and I forgot to tell you about the key box. I, um, I said that the next job was going to be to sand it all down. Well, the next job is to uh, glue the key box on. So we'll do that today as well. So first of all, I'll glue this on. So I get me a uh, tight bond, PVA, wood glue, and squirt it around the place. There you are, that's all clamped up now. Um, we'll leave it to dry to go off. Try not to wreck it while we're doing it. And that is absolutely, probably my least favorite job during the whole of this hurdy-gurdy build. Never mind. Onwards and upwards. I've glued the sides onto the uh, nerdy gurdy now and I've also assembled the handle I made little hats to put on the end to cover the steel bolts also a wooden sleeve there so it's all been printed in wood should come out quite well the next job is to assemble the key box I've done it as a dry fit to make sure it all fits in okay uh, seems to so I'll glue that together um, at the moment I haven't made up my mind whether to do the keys in 6mm plywood as suggested or whether to print them in black and white plastic um, white uh, for the, um, the whole notes and black for the shops and the flats like a piano in other words um, that might help me find my way around the keyboard I don't know yet because I could always stain the plywood keys different colors anyway that's my next job the key box